It is Tuesday morning and I am just doing some work from home before I head to some meetings. And I just want to point out with Manifesting March, it's important that you constantly remind yourself about what you were doing and why and the rules behind it. So I've actually written my rules on a piece of pa like nice paper and I'm making a habit of reading this once in the morning and also at night, but also regularly thinking about Manifesting March throughout the day, just touching in with you know, how I'm feeling, the flow of money, ideas that I'm working on, opportunities that are around me and, and how I can maximize those opportunities and really like putting myself there, out there, but also trusting in the universe. So if you're doing manifesting much, I highly recommend doing this because it's incredibly important. It keeps you focused and stops that any sort of toxic um, self-talk or language like creep into your world. Now, I've got a big meeting today. I'm really excited about the opportunity to meet with these people. I've been waiting for like two years to have this meeting and I can't believe that it's suddenly happening and it's happening now. So I really want to make sure, you know, the meeting isn't just about closing deals and stuff like that. The meeting is actually about me showing the value that I can add to these people. And um, it, that's what my biggest mission and my biggest passion behind that is. And hopefully if they see this, this passion and this commitment and, you know, my source of ideas, inspiration, you know, they'll love what I'm suggesting to them. I will report back, um, but keep me posted on how you're going with your manifesting magic. And thank you to everyone who's been sending me um, stories about their successes so far. Like um, hearing this, like not, sends me messages that I'm on the right path in doing this challenge with you and putting it out there, which is a bit scary on YouTube. Oh, and if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. <laughs> I just quickly popped home to have some lunch and I opened my mail and I just found a check for $153.38, which is a dividend from the $1,000 project share portfolio. Passive income in action. This is why you need to grab a copy of my book, The $1,000 Project, and get on board with investing. I did nothing for this and I actually forgot I owned this stock. It was part of the portfolio and I did nothing to earn it. You need to do this yourself. Get on board and I'm putting this towards manifesting March total. So we'll see what it adds up to at the end of the month. So make sure you subscribe. Um, all right. The other day, um, actually a couple of weeks ago, I reversed into a car um, whilst parking. Um, not great but obviously i was very grateful for the fact that i had full insurance and it was i was at fault and um the other person will quickly get their car fixed and as will i anyway the other day someone then reversed into me pretty much what i did to the other person and um i wasn't and fortunately they left a really tiny note on my car now I would normally get into my car on the obviously driver's side and they left it on the far passenger side which I would never have seen and would have literally jumped in the car and drove off um, and it probably would have blown away but freakishly I actually approached the car on the other side and saw the note and um, I'm very grateful for the person leaving a note and um, we're getting it fixed through ins their insurance as I'm not at fault Anyway, I spoke to my insurance company. I'm like, look, I'm I don't want to have, lose my car for five days because I'm already losing it for five days to fix the back. I'm now going to lose it for another five days to fix the front. And the insurance company were like, it's okay. We'll, we'll get you to speak to the mechanics and they'll we'll, they'll get you to all, well, they will order all the parts and we will actually try and get the car fixed all in one big sweep. And because um, this time now you weren't at fault, you actually qualify for a higher car for the whole time that you lose your car. So again, like manifesting magic, I was thinking crap, for the time that my car is being fixed, I'm gonna be up for like Ubers and cabs, getting to meetings and picking Rocco up and it's gonna cost a fortune. But now it's all magically covered under this blessing of someone reversing into my car and actually doing quite a bit of damage. Anyway, look, at the end of the day, I'm so grateful for all of this. It's Sure, it's a little bit of inconvenience, but it could be so much worse. The person could have not left a note. I would have lost my excess, so my premiums would have gone up, and um, you know, it could have been a disaster. But this is actually out now, all worked perfectly. So again, showing faith in the universe. So I just deposited the check, best feeling ever, and I'm now going to immediately transfer 
$153.38 to the $1,000 project account so that I don't accidentally spend it before it clears. All right, so I'm running into a little bit of an issue with my love of minimalism. My shoes are wearing out. I don't have a huge shoe collection. It's very small and quite particular. And I absolutely love my shoes. I don't want to let them go, but they're starting to look a little bit tired and scuffed and worn out. Now, I take really good care of my shoes. I regularly get them resold. I clean them. I don't leave them around. I put them away properly and neatly each night. However, because I don't have many, I wear them a lot and they're starting to wear out. Now, I've been taking a while to come to this terms. I have to invest in a couple of pairs of extra shoes to help spread the usage, but obviously not just buy shoes for the sake of buying them, buy them only shoes that I absolutely love. Anyway, a couple of weeks ago when I was having a play date with Rocco's friend, with her mum, um, the kid's mum who bought me um, beautiful banana bread, who was also doing Frugal February, she had the most amazing pair of Monolo Blonic slides. They were stunning, really feminine, not too heavy or clunky. And she managed to find them on eBay um, for a fraction of the price. They were brand new, still in the box. Anyway, that night um, I stalked her shoes and I found them online. And I couldn't find them in the black, but I found them in these amazing like leopard print and they were gorgeous. And I, I love a little bit of leopard print, but I'm really fussy as to, um, you know, the print. It's got to be right the shade, not too heavy and it definitely can't be tacky. It's got to be quite a stylish, chic leopard print. Anyway, I ummed and about them. They were on sale. I was like, breathe, just because on sale, don't just buy them. But I knew they would go with everything in my wardrobe and match even one of my leopard print bags. Anyway, I didn't get it. And this morning I woke up and I was just like, can I just buy some new shoes? You're going to end up regretting it when you have to say goodbye to the shoes that you love. And you'll be annoyed that you didn't like, you know, invest in a few pairs and sp spread the usage across. Anyway, I jumped online to just do, bite the bullet, go and buy them. And I couldn't find them, they were gone. And I was so annoyed at myself. And I was like, you always do this. You almost sometimes are too fussy or too indecisive. And then you, when you do decide to get something, it's already gone. Anyway, I Googled them, I found them again, and I found them at a further 20% off. So as soon as I saw that, I ordered them straight away and hopefully they're on their way. So when they arrive, I will show you. But I pretty much saved 50% off. So again, you know, the universe supporting me in delayed gratification, being patient, and I guess also trusting in the gestation process, like knowing when is the right time for things meant to happen, like things happen when they're meant to. So overnight, the money came in from Airbnb and I immediately transferred this into the $1,000 project account so I don't get to s tempted to spend it intentionally or accidentally on things like new shoes. <laughs>